We grow when we give. We grow when we give. We grow when we give. Nosotros crecemos cuando damos. We grow when we give. 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 Welcome to ROG, Return on Generosity, a podcast celebrating generosity at work. Not financial giving, giving valuable time, alternative perspectives, and genuine collaboration. Welcome to ROG. This is part six of a six-part series on working genius. Work is a broad term that applies to almost every part of our lives, even beyond what we refer to as our jobs. The majority of our waking hours involve some kind of work. The Table Group, founded by Patrick Lancioni, discovered that there are six types of work. These six are required whether you're working on launching a product, organizing a nonprofit, or planning a vacation. The Working Genius Model explains the six types of work and the order of those stages. Each of us have a God-given ability to get joy and energy from two of those types of work. And because we love that kind of work, we usually gravitate toward it and are pretty good at it. Our special guest today is a representative of the genius that we're about to talk about, Julie Dobbins, Director of Operations at The Table Group. Welcome to ROG, Julie. Thank you. Thank you for joining me on this long series so that our listeners can, can reap the benefits of understanding each of these geniuses in a unique way. This, mm -hmm. thankfully, is one of yours. This is the, the genius of tenacity. Please help us understand more about tenacity. Yeah, I'll try to not sound biased because I obviously, <laughs> I think tenacity work is the best. So the genius of tenacity is really about driving projects and tasks towards completion, you know, getting things across the finish line and ensuring that you are meeting the standards that were set and achieving the results that you set out to achieve. Beautiful. So when someone has this genius on a team, what does mm -hmm. that look like? So, you know, when someone has the genius of tenacity, they tend to, you know, really be concerned with, okay, what are the deadlines? What are the standards? What are the expectations? What needs to happen to make this happen? So they're thinking through uh, the details, through the tactics, through the plans for whether it's a project or an organization, any of those different things. And so they really are driving towards what do we need to, need to do to get this done? Absolutely. So if someone has this in in their area of frustration or if a team is lacking tenacity mm -hmm. among their team members what might that look like yeah so sometimes when this is lacking teams um, or individuals they can kind of lack the discipline to to be able to finish projects or, or to be able to meet the standards um and so that can be you know it's not necessarily like a, a negative thing it's really just that they might lose energy or get focused on something different um, they can move to the next plan the next project um, or just you know kind of give their attention to something else as opposed to you know how do we really get this finished and and do what we said we would do right on yeah because i've heard some team members say things like i'm good at starting things not finishing them mm -hmm. yes right and yeah. so some might say it the other way like i'm good at finishing things not starting them yeah <laughs> so right so we walk through this all of these um six to, to this final one which is that like crossing the, things off the list finishing the project mm -hmm. finishing the conversation maybe even assigning accountability and deadlines yep to to projects and conversations yeah. And so I know we've talked about, you know, some of the different dynamics with all, with all six on these different episodes, but you know, the one, one thing I would say for, for those who have the genius of tenacity is, you know, we are going to gravitate towards it. We enjoy it. And it is really, you know, it's needed. And so it can feel like it, it's the most important thing. And so that's where I, the one thing I would say is just to not always rush to tactics or rush mm. to execution because every stage of work, right. There's five others that come before this one. And so you want to make sure that you're executing, you know, to the right, I have asked the right questions, come up with the ideas, refined them, that everybody's moving towards that and that you don't skip people in the process that you forget to come alongside them. Right. So it's really important, but should never be used just in isolation. I love that because one of the things we've talked about in all of these episodes is what do individuals who have these geniuses need to be aware of mm -hmm. so that they're not coming across as a jerk? So like now it's no longer a genius, right? It's, it's a negative. Yeah. <laughs> so for, for those who have tenacity, like what self-awareness do they need to have? 
Yeah. So for tenacity, you know, I, I tend to always kind of have a notebook with me and, and my pen. I know this isn't a video podcast, but you, you can see it with me is, you know, I'm always trying to think through, okay, what needs to happen or what are we missing or when is that due? And so there are times where it's important for me to clarify that. And there's times where I should just take notes. And when it's when it's this, the space or the conversation or that stage of work, then I can kind of run through some of those questions or run through my my concerns or who's doing what, when is that gonna happen, et cetera. Mm-hmm. But um, timing is so important. So along with timing is, you know, people with tenacity can tend to, you know, they can they can think through all the tactics and they can make it happen. It can feel like, oh, I don't really need other people to get this done. And so I would say be very conscious of your impact on the team, your need for others on the team, because we need all six geniuses to get work done. Uh, so don't always feel like you have to operate independently. Sometimes I can feel like, well, if I don't get this done, you know, it's not going to happen. So I'll just go rogue and, and finish it. And that's not always what's best for my team. And so mm-hmm. being very considerate of that um, and conscientious of that is going to be important for people with tenacity. Oh, that's that's so great. So what would be an example of something that you've had the chance to do at work with your tenacity genius that has brought you so much joy? Mm. So I love getting to, you know, again, I prior to actually working at the table group, I would have said and I didn't have this language for it, that inventors were kind of frustrating for me because it's like, oh my gosh, we do not always need to reinvent the wheel or come up with a new possibility because as someone with tenacity, all I could think about when someone's talking about those things is, oh, what do we got to do to make that happen, right? I'm just thinking through all of the details. Whereas now it's actually so fun to get to work with those people because they get to operate in their area of genius, whether it's wondering or inventing or um, figuring out what's possible. And I get to come alongside and help make those things happen. And so Mm. I love getting to work with some of the people on our team who really enjoy creating new things or new events or new plans and new possibilities. And then I get to operate in the space of, you know, how do we implement? How do we execute? Yes. Oh my gosh. I love it. And and I, I think it's so important for our listeners to hear the energy in your voice, like when we get to, and I think that's the way yes. to say it, when we get to operate in our area of genius, it really just is this wealth spring of natural joy and exactly yes. the way you've all described it, which is this way to bring energy, positivity, joy, mm-hmm. and productivity to yeah. work and life, Definitely. right? You, Cause like how you do anything is how you do everything. So yep. I imagine this is you and your personal life as well. Oh yes. <laughs> My <laughs> husband will attest. <laughs> you get so. a lot of things done. I love that. Yep. Cross it off the list. Yes. Um, yeah. So for those of you who have tenacity as one of your top two working genius, we encourage you and we, we a- applaud you for pulling things over that finish line, for crossing things off the list, for achieving results, and for helping us to get there with excellence. We're grateful for you to do that. Julie, thank you for your tenacity following through this whole series and for partnering (laughs) with me on this very special series. Definitely. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for listening to ROG, Return on Generosity podcast. Please help us grow by subscribing and reviewing us on your favorite podcast player. And for more information, visit bridgebetween.com. We grow when we give. We grow when we give. We grow when we give.